Welcome viewers in this video we will see the quadruple 2 to 1 multiplexer subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic quadruple 2 to 1 multiplexer quadruple means 4 bit data 2 to 1 means 2 set of 4 bit data is available in that 1 set of data will be produced at the output right 2 two set of four bit data available in that any one data available at the output that is the function of quadruple two to one multiplexer quadruple means four bit data two set available out of two set one set is produced at the output based on the selection line in some cases two or more multiplexers are enclosed within one ic package as shown in the diagram so within a single ic there are two set of multiplexers are enclosed okay that is available in the diagram now we'll see the diagram now we'll see the logic diagram so this is a0 a1 a2 a3 is the first set of four bit data similarly we have second set of data available first we'll see the first set of data a0 a1 a2 and a3 a0 is the lsb a3 is the msb so for that we are having one four and gates are available right so the a0 is connected to the first and gate similarly a1 a2 a3 right one input of the and gate is the data a0 a1 or a2 is connected other two inputs are one is selection line another one is the enable line right if the enable line is one then only the corresponding multiplexer will be activated right the selection line is used to select either the data a or data b right so we have four set of and gate one input is data second input is selection line third input is enabled right that is connected to one more or gate so this is the input from the data a another input is from data b right so this or gate will add data a and b either data a or data b will be available at the output if the data a is enabled it will this these four inputs is nothing but data a if the second set of uh, multiplexer is activated then data b will be available here so these four outputs will be data b right so both are connected together now similarly we will see the data b how it is connected so this is the second set of data b0 b1 b2 and b3 b0 is the lsb b3 is the msb so this is also connected to four set of and gates one input is data second input is selection line third input is enable right so output from this ag is connected to the or gate see this it is connected to or gate so or gate having two inputs one is from the data a another one is from data b so it will produce either data a or data b based on the selection line now we'll go to the enable input and selection line what will happen to the enable input and selection line right see this enable it is connected with the not gate so enable is zero means the enable zero means here one so the one is given to all the and gate so it become activated suppose enable is one enable is one means it become zero so the uh, the, uh, the output of the end all not gate is zero so the circuit is deactivated right so it is it is connected in a inverted manner right so enable zero means after this not get it will be one so the entire circuit will be activated will get the output either data a or data b enable is one means after not get it is zero so the circuit is deactivated right now we'll see the selection line the selection line also having two not gates are available suppose the selection line is zero what is available here it is available one after this not get it is one after the another not get again it become zero right the selection line is zero means after this not get it become one after the another not get it become zero see this zero is connected to the second set of and gate the zero is connected so if the selection line is zero this zero is connected so data b is inactivated so this one one is connected to the set uh, data first data a we'll see the diagram 
so this is the line having one so this one is connected to the AND gate that is having the set of data A right so the selection is zero means after the NOT gate it become one this one is connected to this NOT gate so first set of first set of data is activated the output of this AND gate is high that is given to the R gate so that these four output having data A right if the selection line is zero right other another set of four AND gates having zero input these four these four NOT gate having zero input so this is the output of this NOT AND gate is zero right so B, uh, the data B will not be available only the data A will be available right now we'll see the next possibility suppose the selection line is one what will happen after this NOT gate it is zero so this zero is connected to the NOT AND gate having data A so that the, the output of that AND gate is zero so the data A is deactivated so after this another NOT gate another it become one right now this one is connected to this second set of AND gates that is having data B now the this the output of this NOT this AND gate is high so that the data B will be passed to the R gate so the output of this this four R gate is the data B now right so if the selection line is zero if the selection line is zero the data A will be available at the output because this is one this one is connected to set of the data set A if the selection line is one after the two not get again it one this one is connected to the and get having the second set of data data B so that will be activated right so selection line is zero the output will be 4 bit data of the data A the selection line is 1 will get the output as here the data uh, data bit B right 4 bit data second data B right 0 means data A will be produced at the output 1 means data B will be produced at the output now we will see the truth table now we will see the description the diagram shows the quadruple 2 to 1 line multiplexer each capable of selecting one of the two input lines the output y1 can be selected to be equal to either a1 or b1 based on the selection line similarly y2 is the a2 or b2 like that it is so on right so that is based on the selection line the selection line yes select the one of the two lines in the four multiplexers the 4 bit multiplexer right either data a or data b will be available now we'll see the truth table the control input e enables the multiplexer in the state 0 if it is 0 then only it is enabled because it is connected through the not gate disable if it is one state right it is reversed normally one means activated zero means deactivated here zero means activated one means deactivated right when e equal to 1 output have all zeros regardless of the selection so regardless of the value yes right if the enable is 1 means that is all inputs will be zeros whatever may be the selection line now see this truth table right enable 1 means the whatever may be the selection line all outputs are zeros right right if it is 1 means it is disabled 0 means it is activated right so so the zero zero means the enable zero means it is activated in this case the selection line zero means it will give the first data a if the selection line is one it will give the second data b right so the enable is one mean all are zero enable zero means where the selection line zero means select the data a selection line is one means select the data b so in this video we discuss about the quadruple two to one multiplexer having the two set of four bit data out of which one data is available at the output based on the selection line subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening